Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome back to another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. We are deep in the Black Volcar's base, looking for the prototype accelerator. So let's go in here. Have I been here? I, I have. Garage elevator. We have to go into the garage, but first let's check all of this. We've looted the armory already. This is the exit, so let's go up here. I should probably use mission to unlock doors, but I don't feel like it. Oh, I can... I surrender, I surrender, please, don't kill me. I'm not like these others. I'm not like Brezhik and his new Volkars. What are you talking about? You're a Volkar, aren't you? I'm a Volkar, but I was here long before Brezhik took over. I was a Volkar back when it meant something. Back when we had honor. Then Brezhik and his followers took over and turned our gang into a bunch of violent thugs and bloodthirsty punks. Now they treat all us original Volkars like second-class citizens. Take me for example. I used to be one of the highest ranking Volkars in the gang. Now I'm stuck on guard duty here in the back, all thanks to Brezhik. If you hate Brezhik so much, why don't you leave the gang? I've been trying to work up the courage to leave, but it's not that easy. Brezhik's followers will try to hunt down anyone who leaves the Volkar gang. He says he won't let traitors live. Ha! Brezhik and his followers are the real traitors. They turned on Gaiden and now they slaughter the backs in the streets and anyone else they happen to run across. Brezhik knows anyone with character will never willingly follow a leader like him, so he uses brutality and violence to stay in power. I'm... Uh, you'd better give me some information if you want to live. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want to know. It's not like I, I owe that scum lord Brezhik anything. Where can I find the prototype swoop engine accel accelerator? Right, that gadget Brezhik stole from the backs. He's got the accelerator in the basement garage. The other way down is by using the security elevator in the back of the base. In the back of the base. But the security elevator is protected by auto-targeting laser cannons. You'll be vaporized before you ever get near it, unless you got your hands on a pass cards. Where can I get a pass card? Well, I already disabled them. If I had one myself, I'd give it to you, but Brezhik only gives them to his lieutenants. You'd have to get a pass card from one of them, but I doubt they'd just hand it over to you. I'm going to let you live. Go on, get out of here. Oh, I pressed the wrong option. Uh... Thanks, thanks a lot, and don't worry, I won't cause any trouble for you on the way out. In fact, I hope you take Brezhik and his Volkars down. Okay, what do you have here in your, uh, I'm going to call it office? Some grenades, that's cool. Oh, this is where I killed all of them. And I... Oh, pass cards. Guess I, sh guess I should have saved my... Um, my computer spikes. Another pass card. 
Rajik just likes to hand these things to anyone, does he? Um, okay, nothing else in here. This is a no door. This is a pool. Oh! Kinda poisoned. Guess I should have, um, well. At least I have some antidote kits. Okay, I think we're done here then. Let's head to the garage. Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? They didn't. I wasn't their guest mission, I was a prisoner. I don't think they cared much what happened to me. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I did manage to take a chunk out of the arm of a guard that wandered too close to my cage, but it tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Good morning, smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Wookies do not brush their teeth mission, it, it just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Yeah, let's stay focused on the task at hand indeed. Stop chatting while we're in the middle of the enemy's base. Okay, it doesn't work anymore. Can I still kill these for experience? No. Chunk pile droids. Guess you could activate these, but I don't want to waste my parts here. Oh, garage head. Prepare to die. Okay, what do you got for me? Heavy blaster, heavy combat suit. I don't think Zalbar can use any armors. Oh, I missed. Garage computer. Now, where is the garage head's desk? Some Pazak cards. Garage head key cards. Nice. Do I need to slice the computer? Can't I just use the key card or something? Huh? What can we even get from here? Garage. You could overlook the swoop bike in the garage bay. Not sure why. Garage office, that's where we are. Loading bay, there's droids. Engine lab, there's a bunch of dudes there. Open all security doors, upload area schematics. I don't want to do anything. 
Sure. Okay. Let's go into the other area here. Uh, we came from there, right? Patrol droids. Time for you to die. This room is useless. Loading dock. It's, oh, it's locked. So I need I guess I need to find somewhere to use the um, the pass sure. key that I just got. Oh level up. Nice. To level seven. What should I get next? Let's get... Improved power attack. Looks like we have visitors. Like he's gone by Gadden Thack into trying to steal Brezik's swoop engine accelerator, I bet. Brezik stole that engine from Gadden. It was never yours to begin with. Well, I didn't go to all the trouble of acquiring this prototype just so he could steal it back from that old fool. Would you like me to dispose of these back spies, Kandon? No, hold on a second. I see you aren't wearing the hidden back colors, so I'm guessing you aren't part of that feeble old man's gang. You must be a freelance mercenary. You're right, I'm not one of the backs. My name's Banner. Instead of stealing the prototype for the backs, why don't you come work for us? The Black Volcars could use someone like you. Forget it. I know all about you, Black Volcars. Be smart. Gadon Thak is old news. He's a blind fool in more ways than one. Brezik is a visionary. Soon he'll control the entire lower city. Don't shackle yourself to a losing team. Forget it, I'm not going to betray Gaden. I can see there's not much chance of convincing you to come work for us after all. Most unfortunate. Now can I kill them, Kanzan? Yes, darling, kill them. Kill them all. Well, let's start with frag grenades, energy shields, and just use our improved power attack. Yeah, you guys aren't very good. There's the accelerator. Sure. I think we'll leave once we get it, so let's explore all of this. 
Got some stuff. Got some more stuff. Ooh, Verpine headband. Plus three will, plus two awareness. Nice. Okay, nothing else in here. Let's check the other side of this uh, this hall. Radiation shields. <laughs> ah, workbench. Nice. Now, first, let's check out the new armors. I'm still in combat. Okay, I think we're, I think we're cool now. I think I'll equip a military suit. Let's see, we only have plus two dexterity, so we don't need one of these suits that has a pretty high dexterity bonus. We won't get all of the benefits, so... Yeah, this is plus six defense plus three. Yeah, this is good enough. Is it upgradable, though? And I will use... a Sith Energy Shield. Yeah, 30 points, better than the other one. Can I use Mission's Vibroblade? I can. Do I want to? Maybe not. Now, meanwhile, Mission, you can equip my old Ichani Fiber Armor. What? Since you actually ha have pretty high dexterity. Okay, let's upgrade... I can't upgrade that armor. Never mind, I'll just equip that myself. What? Give give it back. Dexterity bonus is three. Yeah, combat suit will suit you just fine. Melee. Prototype fiber blades. Got all the stuff here. Upgrade my armor, ranged, salt bars, bow. Wow, we can add everything. Cool. So this gives an extra point of damage. Another extra point of damage. Plus two attack modifier, and increases the critical threat. Nice. Salvar has a pre pretty good weapon now. Now, are the upgrades all the same? That would explain why I can't... Um, why I can't select what uh, item to put in there. Okay, I think we're done here. I'm not sure the loading bay opens. Maybe if we use the computer in the office. And where do I, where do I use the card key then? I have the garage head's card key, but it didn't do anything. Why? Let's find out. This is a mystery that we need to solve. To the garage computer. What? Open all security doors. This yes. should work. 
I don't get why you didn't have an option to use the keycard at the door unless unless there was there was a um, a panel maybe no, there's just the loading door dock the loading dock door there's droid here ow Stop freezing us. Ah, there's some loot here. What? Mission get to work. Gotcha. Simple. Plasma grenades. Oh, two thousand credits. Nice. Well, this is very sure. worth it. Very worth it indeed. All right. Let's get what we came here for. Hey, Big Z. Don't take this the wrong way, but lately, I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. Scruffy? What are you talking about? I hope you aren't suggesting I take a bath. No, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair is getting all tangled. And uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. You're making this up. I groom every day. My hair is not tangled and it's not going gray. Oh, it's rhymed and everything. Nice. She's got a point, Salbar. You could use a good makeover. Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Maybe a nice suit. You don't trim a Wookiee. You don't color a Wookiee. And you certainly don't dress a Wookiee. I know Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. Leave me alone. Okay, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism, and this is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. Okay, prototype, swoop, accelerator. Here I come. Oh, I don't immediately leave. I thought I did. Maybe it's when I leave this, uh, I leave the garage. Or maybe I'm imagining things and I don't leave at all. I have to make my way there. You must gather your party before. Come on, guys. I'm waiting. Bunch of slow pokes. Oh, I actually have to leave manually. What am I thinking about then that where you um hmm I was pretty sure there was an option that says yo just go straight to the hidden back base I guess not By the way, what are the other bounties I'm missing? Since we're going to the lower city. DA is done. Madrick or Merrick, I can't remember his name, is done. Uh, Largo was... that his name? I think is done as well, since we paid him. Selvan or the Adam Assassin is done, so... oh! Only Bendak Starkiller, I guess. Yeah, and I know just where to get that one. So, on to the hidden back lookout. Hideout, not lookout. Yo, Gaddon, got your stuff? You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? 
Why the hell would I be here? Otherwise, yes, I have the accelerator right here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Okay, I lived up to my end of the deal. Now you better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gadden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Don't worry, Gadden. I'll win that race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Sounds like you've got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Okay, I'm ready for the race. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. You spend the restless night in the back base. In the morning one of the backs takes you to the swoop racing pits where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. So you're the one who's going to ride the soup bike, eh? Don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator and stability won't be a problem, I hope. Gadden mentioned that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of handling a swoop bike for you? Sure, tell me how it's done. It's pretty simple really. First, try not to crash into anything. There's debris and obstacles scattered all, all over the course, so watch out. All swoops are equipped with dynamic deflector systems, so hitting an obstacle won't cause you to crash, but it will shake you up a bit and slow you down. The track also has accelerator panels built into its surface. If you fly over one, it'll give, you a give your swoop a boost of speed, so try to hit them where you see them. When the engine starts running hot, you'll get a warning and you'll have to switch gears. Other than that, just try to hang on. You'll be fine. Okay, let's start the race. Hold on, I better explain the rules to you. Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posted the fastest time is the winner. Normally a rider can run as many heats as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your swoop will hold up. No more than 4 or 5 races, I guess. So make your runs count. Gadon's put his trust in you. We, we need to win this race or Brezik's Volkars will get a whole bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. I won't let you down. Sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over by the counter. He'll give you the time to beat and get you out on the course. I'll be waiting for you here after the run so I can make any tweaks or repairs to your swoop in case you want to go out for another heat. Good luck, and don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding while you're out on the track. That probably won't happen. Oh, 
okay, we're here at the soup races. And just in time for the episode to end. Perfect. So next time we'll do some swooping. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Knights of Guild Republic. And I'll see you all next time.